Revelation 6 and 8, the book with the seven seals. The first seal, there was a white horse, and he that sat on the horse had a bow, and a crown was given to him. He went forth conquering and to conquer. The second seal, there was a red horse, and power was given to the one that sat on the red horse to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. The third seal, there was a black horse, and he that sat on the black horse had a pair of balances in his hand, balances used to measure wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. The fourth seal, there was a pale horse, and death sat on the pale horse, and hell followed him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. The fifth seal, John sees under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, doest thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given to the slain saints whose souls were redeemed, and they were told that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. The sixth seal. There was a great earthquake, and the sun became black, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island removed out of their places, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens, the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? The seventh seal. There was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. John sees seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. An angel took a golden censer, filled it with fire of the altar, and cast it into the earth. And there were voices, and, th and thunderings, and lightnings, and an earthquake. And the seven angels with the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of the trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. The second angel sounded as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound.